Stockton, California is in the building representing the 209. Nate Diaz with us on SportsCenter. Nate, it's been a minute since we've seen you in the octagon. What made you come back for this fight against Leon Edwards? Uh, I was waiting for this whole, uh, the whole world to speed back up. I wasn't really waiting. I was just trying to get on a good card where everything was happening again with his full crowds and um, it was time to go and he's the one who's winning and doing, doing a good job and uh, uh, He's got an impressive little record and career going on, so let's take that. <laughs> so, Nate, this is the first non-title, non-main event fight that's scheduled for five rounds. How do you think that's going to affect this fight? Um, I think of the fight always like that, like like a full fight anyways, so um, we'll see what happens. Do you do you train always to go the distance uh, in, in a fight like this, or, or does does that change how you train for this fight? No, I train to take take the person out the whole the whole fight whenever I can. Uh, uh, because the distance, I, I always prep to get to uh, be ready for that too, and um, we'll see what happens. Edwards is unbeaten since 2015. As you said, he's an up-and-comer in the welterweight division. He's got his eyes on the title shot. He says he doesn't need to just beat you. He needs to stop you in order to make a statement that he deserves the title shot. Your response? Um, yeah, I agree with him. But when you hear a guy say, I'm going to stop him, given your history, how do you react to that? That's what he should say. And that's what they all say. And... Um... I should stop him too. <laughs> That's what everybody should do. So, I'm ready. I'm ready to uh, get the out of fight camp, get here, and get the job done. And that's my that's my plan. That's my objective. And uh, hope, hopefully, it all goes well for me. That's that's what I'm coming with, though. He's a more natural welterweight. Uh, probably on on Saturday, he's going to enter the octagon of the bigger man. How do you counter that? Uh, I'm bigger than him. Even with this layoff since, since 2019, you've kept a, a really rabid fan base. I mean, there are a lot of people eager and excited to see you get back into the octagon. What, what do you think is the reason for that? Because, because nobody's doing anything. This whole career, everybody's playing what they should be and doing what they're told and acting like little... Little, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, they're acting like who uh, uh, have jobs. This fight, fight career is not a job. It's not like, it's not like you're uh, going to do what the man tells you. Type of do it, do what you want. Fight everybody and uh, do whatever you want out of you. That's all I'm thinking. I don't know. But what, do you, what is it about your style in the octagon that you think resonates so much with the fans? Well, I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu. I've been training with Cesar Gracie and Cesar Gracie fight team my whole career. And uh, uh, that, that, that's the realest fight team you could come from. It's, it's Gracie jiu-jitsu. It's got a long history line, and, it's got, and uh, I stick by it. And I think that uh, it's, it's war at all times. And... If, if, I, if any of my team is going to war, I'm going to war. And if I'm going to war, my team is going to war. And uh, that's what everybody's tuning in to fight, is real fighting. And uh, besides that, I'm a, I got a boxing coach who's trained professional boxers. And uh, I, do, I do the best of the best in, in every aspect. I got kickboxing training partners and everybody else. Like I said, they play by the book. And, they, they do what they're told and they act a certain way the way they're supposed to act and they talk the way they're supposed to talk or think they're supposed to talk. But uh, I think that's what keeps everybody uh, attracted to the to the to whatever whatever you're you're saying they're attracted to. It's a, the realness in a real fight game and that's that's what I am and that's what my whole team is. And I don't think that's gonna go anywhere as long as I uh, just keep doing what we do here. <laughs> You're such a crowd favorite that if you win this fight Saturday, there'll be probably some options for you. What interests you more? Another fight with McGregor, uh, the unfinished business with Miles Vidal, or maybe 
a title shot at Kamaru Usman. What what would interest you more? Uh, all those sound great, and they all <laughs> they're all different options, good options. But uh, I, I'm, every single day, I got I got new um, new motivation. So we'll see what happens after the fight. I saw a website with predictions on the on the fight, you versus Edwards, and. It, it, other fighters making predictions, and almost to a man, they all said, listen, I love Nate Diaz, love what he means to our sport, but I got to go with Edwards. Why are they wrong, Nate? Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's been my whole career is like that. And if, you, you, if any of the fighters, to all the fighters out there saying anything about me, if it's, if it's not positive as a then shut the up and you. That's what I think about you. And, um, that's how that's how my whole whole career has gone and been, and uh, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Cause that's how I that's how I work anyway. If I don't got nothing nice to say, I keep my predictions and all that to myself. Cause all those guys that are saying about me losing are uh, they they they're not themselves. At 36, with the resume that you have in the sport. Uh, what's left to prove? What do you want to show on Saturday night? I just want to come and uh, put on a good show and get the job done. Uh, I hope that everybody leaves uh, leaves with their head on their shoulders, but I'm coming to kill for sure. <laughs> All right, Nate Diaz, get ready for Leon Edwards. Saturday night, part of a loaded card on UFC 263 in Glendale, Arizona. Nate, we appreciate the time, and good luck on Saturday. See you guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.